Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be going on a little journey here to Losek. We're going to do something that I've never done before. It is namely L5 missions. This is going to be a bit of a process. We're not going to get this all done in one go. We're going to have to make the move slowly but steadily. That's because L5 missions exist only in Losek. So we need to be very careful and be tactical how we move and not just charge in. I am going to charge in, but what I mean is we have to be prepared. And what I mean by that is we're gonna to have to use properly clocking devices, MWDs, and stuff to get around potential gate campus here. Uh, so I saw a really great video by Gustav Manfred. This is what inspired me to do this video. Uh, it could be that this is not even relevant anymore, uh, that this doesn't even work, uh, because the video he made is quite old, but I want to give it a shot because I've been meaning to try L5 missions for a really long time. And I've been a little bit too um, too much of a cow to try them, and I think I better try to tackle them now because I've been playing E for so long and I just haven't really uh, touched them, which I think I should have done because I've been doing L4 missions so much, doing Abyss Sight so much, I think I may as well do one of the highest levels of PvE activities in the game, which are L5 missions. So he's got this fit here, it's a Bargast with cruise missiles, it goes really like a sniper fit you could say and uh, he's got some slight modules that he recommended in the description of his video to carry depending on the division type so i've added these modules here that hopefully will be up to his standards for doing the different missions it could may as well be that it's not the case but i hope that it will be so we've got the whole shopping list here and i'm going to go before i actually buy the ship i have to swap implants because i do not want to go into low sec and have really bad or good implants and lose them uh, and the way Gustav does is that to be like, extra safe, as far as I can tell from his video, uh, is that he sort of has a bar guest, a separate bar guest in every mission system that you could possibly get uh, an L5 mission in, and then he's able to do it a little bit more safely in a way, because he just uses a really fast ship to go in between system to system, and then he just goes and uh, gets the mission done in the bar guest that is in the system of that's appropriate okay so we'll go to Jita I've actually in fact got an ult that I've been training for quite a while that is going to be focused on using the bar guest for doing uh, L5 missions or just any kind of ship to use L5 missions I've been training a Kaldari based battleship so we'll see if the bar guest is successful if it is definitely can be a potential of using that for L5 missions on an ult because uh, I feel like if you're doing this kind of stuff you're going to be pretty locked to this area of space so I thought it was a good idea to have this activity sort of locked down to an alt but i've never tried this out before that guy has not even good good standing to be able to do l5 missions so i thought i'll give it a go now in my main account which has got very good standings so we've got very good standings with galente primarily but also minmata uh, let's see here interactions go in the go up here galente Feder galente federation you can see here we go to g to trade hub Okay, so we'll see if we can find a good L5 mission system to run in. This is like, we have to prepare here. It's not like an easy job, or at least I'm not going to approach it as an easy job because I feel like I will just get shattered in the process. It might be very easy for people who've been running L5 missions. But you have to understand that I'm a, like a solo player. I mean, I am in a court, but it's not like I'm going to have a whole lot of backup helping me here. It's just me, myself, my ship. Okay. So we'll go in mission agents, security agents, and level five, and low sec, and do not ignore standing requirements. So there are certain systems here. Preferably, we would want to do the one that is in 0.1. Actually, that will be better. So we could to go there. This one here, for example, you'll get the most amount of isk from going here. I just hope I won't get popped going here at the same time as well. Uh, we can check so all bear all brez let's check here we're gonna check the z kill and i might go in a little bit higher security status system to start it off because it might be a little bit safer but we'll see here let's see now all brez you know we can actually do this stuff while we're moving there so we'll go and buy the fit first and then we'll check on the z kill status of these different systems now, i could have got some items missing here I just put as much ammunition and all these different modules here that I could use for my fit so that I can do these missions like Gustav Manfred says. I do not think I have enough money actually. So I need to get some, sell some items. Okay, let's buy all this. 
buy this here and then we'll multi-fit L5. Maybe we want to change the name to Killer. It's going to kill all the Sancho, I guess. <laughs> so here's our ship. Do we have any good personalization options? Uh, this is the skin we've got. Any other ones? Oh, this one looks quite cool. Three bill. Quite an expensive skin wall. Red claw is pretty cool. It's a bit less. This one, I don't like it. This one is pretty cool. Red Stargazer. And this is also a little bit cheaper. I think we'll stick with Convergence. Like that. Okay, so we're going to need to prepare ourselves by equipping some certain modules that will help us survive low sec. And the way we do that is we just have to empty a bit of ammunition. I don't think we'll need so much Scourge. Don't think we will. Maybe we will need more likely Scourge than uh, Nova. So we'll keep that. Uh, so what we want to do is add one of these modules in here. And then we'll go for a clocking device. Put a, not a COVID hop swamp, but an improved clocking device. And then let's see if we've got a module that doesn't take a lot of cargo space. We can put this in here, perhaps. Sensor booster there. Okay. Now we've got targeting range script. That's good. Now we want the 500 MN. Just a basic MWD so we can go and use the MWD cloak trick to get around a little bit easier. Like so. And then we want to also have a very nimble ship that's able to go around pretty quickly. So an Astero is a good option, but I want to go for a little bit cheaper style, so I'll go for a Dremiel. I like the Dremiel. It's good for being like a secondary ship in your battleship. Let's see. Dremiel, best traveler. Let's buy this. Let's go and Dram... Dremiel here. Okay, good. And then we'll go for the Bargest and put the Dremiel inside. I hope I don't get destroyed here. <laughs> The second I decide to go to low sec. Okay, let's undock and check what's the status of uh, these uh, systems. Okay, let's see now we've got all brez here. How often are people destroyed? It seems like a cargo ship is occasionally destroyed. Every day some kill seems to have occurred. Doesn't seem to be too bad though. Are these guys people who've died to NPCs at the same time? Doesn't seem like it. I think if we're careful, we could perhaps avoid getting killed. We can check with Eve Gate Camp. Check here, Jita. To all Brez. Check. Okay, there was one kill at the Nova Kiking Gate, but that's because some guy gagged in high sec. We want to do secure route. Uh, well, not high sec, but it seems like if you're going to go through loss, no, it is a high sec. And a secure. So it seems pretty chill here. Hopefully it'll work out for us. And we have actually some space to spare, but we can always come back with stuff later. What are some other potential systems do you got? There's Muratand. This one is very close. That's pretty cool. If we were to add that as a waypoint and optimize the route. It's just one jump out, actually, from Isaac. That's actually very cool. So you can very safely get in and out. Let's see if we go here. Muratand. Check. It seems to be... Pretty safe. Why is it taking me through these... Uh, the Lossic systems, I don't understand. Maybe there was a new Stargate made? Hmm. Let's check on here. Muratand. People getting killed every day. It seems like someone's getting killed. But I like that. How this L5 mission is just one jump out from high sec. That is very beneficial, actually. Hmm. But it will be better to go to this one, though, 0 0.1, since it's better in terms of the payout. But you know what? The point here is not to become super efficient. The point here is to try out the L5, see if this fit works. And then after that, we can give it a go with uh, our 
fault. But then again, it could be good to still just get a bar guest in because then you're able to easily contract it to my alt when I need it later. Yeah, so we might actually just go to the one that's in 0 0.1 system. Seems a bit smarter of an idea if you're looking a bit more long sighted. Making our way slowly but surely towards the destination. 15 jumps out. Okay, now we're here in Stack One, the last side system before low sec. So we'll check this out, see if we don't get popped. Hopefully, it'll go good. We can even just preemptively load up with some Scourge Fury just in case we have to fight our way out. If it comes to us having to fight our way out, our chances of survival are close to none. But it's at least not zero like it would be if we were to not fight. Austin Gale. This is where you can find some incursion rats from Austin Gale Tectum. Ooh, okay, let's do this. And we'll get the MWD and cloak over here. Move that everything out a little bit. Yeah, okay, yes, there's no one here. Great. Oh, there's someone there. Prospect. He's gone. Okay. Three more jumps, three more jumps. Albrez. It would be good if we could have like a jump clone here. That would be very useful. I wonder if this station has cloning capabilities. We can see in services, no clone bay. But I mean, I'm sure that there is some station in this system that has uh, some form of clone bay. Okay, let's try making our way here. Align. Clo oh, we failed the MWD clock trick. <laughs> Good thing there's no one here. Services. And there's a clone bay here. There's some basic missile implants, but it's just a t cheap uh, clone I had. Let's go here. Nobody in sight. Okay, now we're just one jump out from Albrez. Align. Cloak. One MWD cycle. We've got a bunch of people here. Let's just wait until that cycle has ended. And then, boom. Okay. Jump. Okay, now we're in Albrez. Nobody's here. That's great. Align. Cloak and one MWD cycle. And we will probably want to make a dock bookmark so that we can dock safely. There's no one near the station. Oh, and we need capacitor. <laughs> we need capacitor charges as well. I wonder if there's a lot of people selling them here. Cat booster. Wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people are selling them in this system. Get a bit of a premium. I don't know, but he's selling them here. I probably could sell some and earn a bit of isk, actually. Maybe people are all buying them up. Okay, so we stop here and approach the station at a good margin so we can have the dock. L5 hub dock. Like that. And just go here towards the center. And go up here a little bit. Yep, that's good. Dock here. Docking I can dock up. Docking okay, so we made it successfully to the L5 mission station. Great. <laughs> Let's get the f this Dremiel frigate out. Okay. So we've got some agents here. Level 5. Ooh, 91,000 loyalty points. <laughs> That's a lot of loyalty points. <laughs> A lot of loyalty points. Sancha acquisition. Mm -hmm. Now this is an Ausmet. Okay, okay. So we probably want to move the Bargas there. Since that's where the mission is going to be. Then we can just have it there. Right. Everything seems to be pretty quiet right now use the MJD we can go out a little bit and we can get like an undock on this station as well see here L5 hub undock like that so we can just go a few extra kilometers here and then we've got a nice undock bookmark okay let's go to the Always made it system and hopefully we don't die there. Let's do the MWD clock trick here. 
there's a lot of people here. Let's go to this station that's quite close. Now we'll make a dock at this station here so that we'll be able to go here straight away. Let's make a dock here. Dock up. Docking permission request. Okay, great. So Barguest is ready to roll out. I hope it'll go smoothly when we actually attempt to do these L5 missions. Well, you see that there are people here so it worries me a bit but maybe we can log on someday where there's no one here and it'll go smoothly. So next time, so in the future we're going to do an attempt the L5 missions but in my opinion I felt like this is the most tiresome or tedious part to get everything down here. I mean we're still going to have to get more stuff down here, more bar guests, more supplies but eventually it'll hopefully go good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you learned something new. If you did please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.